Hey guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, I loaded the came up and I was looking around the surface for, not with this ship, I was just looking around in map view for the location of Valhenge, that little monument. And then I realised that this biomass generator was on a suborbital trajectory and was going to crash, so I had to quickly switch to it. So that's what you're seeing here, rescuing this. Although, uh, I might as well tell you now, we lose this again for some reason. I have no idea what's the matter with it. But for some reason I think it just likes to go and crash into the planet. But I think I have fixed the issue. Um, but yeah, official Bizarre Gaming and Espresso were on board this, I think. And when I was on the crew roster um, to fill up another ship, I noticed them two were on there and I was scratching my head a little and then now I know why it's because this crashed again but for now it's safe, I guess that was pointless doing this but I didn't know it was going to crash again but like I said at the end of the video I'll explain and I think I've fixed why things were going crazy so I guess we'll find out Okay, and I thought I'd bring these guys back towards into Val to meet up with their fellow Valians, I guess that we'll call them. <laughs> the Valtonians, I don't know. But yeah, I thought I'd just bring these into a stable orbit around Val too. Because they were just floating around in the midst of the dual system. <laughs> Plus we're going to need these guys soon to populate buildings and fires and all that stuff. So I brought them back. And then, uh, yeah, I have a little cinematic of jewel rising. And then, the spy satellite, which was a caffeine probe stroke, yeah, resurfaced into a spy satellite, found this object. So it was scanning the surface, and we found an unidentified structure on the surface. And we got some satellite images. We got this, the long range shot. And then we got a mid range and we got a close range, and that's as much as we can see at the moment. So, what we're going to do is send down Colonel Ender in a tactical tank, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> Not sure really. So, what I'm going to do now is just quickly rendezvous these guys because Colonel Ender's in the frigate. We're going to rendezvous with the new little tactical tank that our guys are busy making in the space dock. I'm not sure, I think I called it unknown there because I was going to say that we captured it from the enemy, but yeah, I had a few problems and things didn't go to plan. So it is actually called Tank and Tank Lander. But you'll see. So yeah, this is kind of a bit of a slow. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to do that either. I shot. I actually blew the frigate up by accident as so well. When I got into here, um, I was meant to press T for the SAS, but I pressed Y and blew the frigate apart. So I had to quickly, oh, well, get the task manager up, end the process, and go back in the game. And luckily, it hadn't saved. Otherwise, you guys would have been in trouble. And I had a bit of trouble here trying to get him in. So that's Colonel Ender in the lander, and then he will try and get in. But you'll see why, what happens in a second. It was kind of embarrassing actually. So yeah, we're just landing down by this unidentified structure. But yeah, I was, a, I was a bit of a donut and I forgot to do something. So. It was kind of embarrassing actually. Although I didn't expect it to do this, but. And I didn't realise how long this descent was. I ran out of things to say. I guess I could say, um. I haven't got everyone 
that's been requesting uh, in the last video or two. I haven't added them to the list yet, but I will do after this episode. Uh, at the end of this episode, I get the last people I had on my list up and over. That's a bit rough. Okay, so here. I forgot to put the brakes on, so this just it actually gets more and more momentum and speed. I actually spent about 20 minutes just trying to do this, and I, for here, first I got stuck in the tracks for ages. Like, this is four times sped up. That lasted about a minute. And I literally did this about 10 times trying to catch it. And I never did, so I gave up. I kept just doing that because the door's in a really awkward place as well. So yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. So during this time, the biofuel crashed again, and that's why Official Bazaar and Espresso are now in here too. So take two. And this was a much smoother landing as a, a lot more controlled. There we go. Okay, so the brakes are on this time. I have Colonel Ender and Espresso as his co-pilot. So now we're going to go check out what's over here. Do a little weapons test quickly. I tried to enable cruise control because I also did make it over there and <laughs> I hit the brakes and the tank flipped and we lost everything. So there is a tiny bit of debris over there, it's just one RTG I think from the tank. But yeah these things are not really good on low gravity unless you've got a, a heavy body. Because I saw some people in the comments on the actual mod saying oh it goes 0.5 meters per second but that's, it depends how uh, heavy the body is as well because they need traction so. Okay so I'm not sure how much you can see but it's actually an old mining facility there, but I, it looks like they've mined out all the. So we've been ordered to shoot it down. There's an enemy coming here, we're not sure of what he has, so our guys panic a bit as he's running towards us. So they just open fire and start blowing it up. It, don't worry, this isn't like part of the war or anything, I just wanted to test the uh, weapons really. I'll make it a lot more <laughs> dramatic I guess and nicer when we're actually coming up against proper enemies. But yeah it seems like guys are pretty hostile, they don't, they didn't, that guy could have been a friendly, we could have made our lives but we decided to blow his stuff up. And I thought I'd just clear up the debris used in the lasers and kill the Kerman. And there he's gone. Poor Kerman. He had no weapons, we could have captured him I guess and got information. And then yeah, I just killed the rest of the stuff. Um I actually blew this tank up by mistake, I tried to kill the uh, decoupler there, you don't see it but I blew a hole in the middle so now <laughs> we've just got the front end and the tracks. So I'm going to need to resend that and rescue the other guy. So anyway this is the latest uh, module, we needed some habitation down there, so it's actually a research facility and this is where we're going to be building our base down here. So we'll just watch this coming in. Uh, this is the people that are in here already are the people that are the last on my list. Um, I put Jake Wolf in here, I wasn't meant to, because he has his own like drop pods things that he wanted to use and I haven't got around to doing it yet so he's not on there but I've put him in here. But I'll go collect you Jake at some point. And also Linus Aragon isn't actually in the game yet. Even though he's been sending me loads of crafts. But 
but I couldn't load them because I forgot I cleared up most of my parts and I took out a lot of the B9 stuff and he all the stuff that I took out is stuff he used so I might have to reinstall it to get his ships back anyway you can see we're at the Stonehenge kind of Valhenge and this is where we're going to build up a little base and I forgot I had the rover so I wouldn't be able to drive it out so I had to drop it and then just yeah nudge over a bit and then land and this is pretty cool actually if I, uh, yeah I put this on a rototron with a hinge so you could actually angle it so we've got a radio telescope there and radar system and some little solar panels for power it's pretty cool no, I was just getting a screenshot. Okay, so I'm just going through who's there. So we've got those two. I can't see the screen because this is post commentary. So you just have to read as I go round. And that's all we have at the moment over there. So we've got 11, 8 in there, 1 in the other door, and 2 in the lander. I could have put more in but I'd already recorded this before I checked the comments on the last two videos but I know there's quite a few new people that want to go and do things so I thought I'd just quickly get that guy, I forgot who it is now in the rover and just test that the rover's working let me go have a little drive in there um, I'm not sure you can see I did plant yeah, there's a flag on top of this one to the left. I don't go and read it, but it's basically I was just saying put the base here. And that's the end of the episode, really. Apart from a little explanation now as to why I think it kept crashing. So, <coughs> nothing was in a circular orbit. It was all really elliptical. And I think that's why when I time warps you know chuck them out so as you can see I've put everything in a nice circular orbit with a fair little distance between them so we shouldn't have any issues or collisions now or when we time warp things shouldn't randomly drop or elongate I guess is the word I don't know for the orbit so we should be pretty stable but yeah that's it for this episode uh, I do actually have another, I have something orbiting Juno as so I made a new thing, it's more for like showing off docking because it's really tight and yeah, you'll see it in the next episode but thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.